What's going on everybody? How's everybody doing today? If you guys caught my last video on the Canon M6 Mark II, you might have heard me say that I was gonna do a blind comparison against the Canon M50. So that's what this video is about here today. I'll talk about the differences between both of these cameras and what you can expect if you're looking to buy either one. Then we're gonna head outside, get a few sample shots. Right away, I'm not gonna let you know exactly which camera is which. You'll have to guess for yourself, but at the end of the video, we'll tell all. I'll tell all the secrets, all the nasty little dirty secrets about me. Everything. Everything. I'm excited for this one. I think a good amount of people are gonna guess wrong. Roll it! Resume is a heavyweight, yeah. Put it on my back, give me everything, yeah. I need, uh, I need everything, I need all of everything, yeah. Set those down for just a second. We're filming on the Canon EOS R right now with the 24 f1.4, and we are at f1.4, and it looks absolutely spectacular. So, first up, before we get into the actual sample footage, I'm just gonna run down a comparison of the key features real quick. The M6 Mark II has a 33 megapixel APS C sensor, while the M50 has a 24 megapixel APS C sensor. They're both mirrorless cameras, and they both take Canon's latest APS C mount, which is the EFM mount, which is Eh, it's a good mount and all, just not a ton of great lenses available as of right now, but I think they're gonna start shaping that up starting at the end of this year. A lot of rumors out there for new APS-C cameras after they get past the whole full frame thing, and probably either around Christmas time or first quarter of 2021 is what I'm hearing and seems about right. Both cameras have a flip screen, the M6 Mark II flips up, the M50 flips out. I actually prefer this. It's nicer to view your video on a flip up screen rather than a flip out screen because you have way more viewing angles. Like this is only on one side of the camera. So if you're standing on the other side of the camera, there's a good chance that your lens could be blocking your, there's a good chance your lens could be block. There's a good chance your lens can be blocking your view to your frame in the flip screen. So flip up is definitely nicer and it's way easier to view. You don't have to like go off to the side to look at your screen. You can just boom, just glance right up at the top of the screen. It's super easy to look at, but it's just way more convenient this way. It's way more convenient to flip it out to the side, throw a microphone on top. I don't like having to relocate the hot shoe and then put my microphone on the side of the camera. I dealt with it with the A6400 and after I got rid of it and started using the flip out screen for the Canon ESR, I was like, yeah, this is, this is better. Even though flipping up is better, I like flipping out a little bit more. Just makes it a lot easier to just grab your stuff and go. Both cameras are capable of shooting 4K, but both cameras need some explanation. So the M6 Mark II actually shoots 3K and then up it to 4K, but it's a full frame shot, well, full frame of the APS-C. It's the full frame. It's not cropping in like how it does on the ESR and the M50, which brings me to the M50. In 4K, it's pretty much almost unusable. Unless you're doing a shot like this right here and you have a wide enough lens, then it actually is usable. I've used the 4K on the M50 and it looks surprisingly decent. It's not too bad, but it does crop in a lot and you lose dual pixel autofocus, whereas the M6 Mark II in 4K, there's no crop and you still have dual pixel autofocus and I autofocus in video. Skin starting to moisten up over here. Man, I wish I could put that fan on. It's so loud, the microphone will pick it up. I hate it. The M6 does 4K up to 30 frames per second and 1080p up to 60 frames per second. You do have 120 frames per second option, but you basically lose everything. There's no sound, there's no autofocus. 60 frames per second is not bad at all, especially if you're slowing it down to a 24p timeline. It looks pretty nice. We're gonna show you some samples of that later too. So both cameras, pretty much their best slow motion is 1080p at 60 frames per second, and both cameras have dual pixel autofocus in that mode. Neither camera has IBIS built into it, but both cameras have probably the best digital IS in the game. So it does a really great job of stabilizing your footage just with the digital IS. And if you have a stabilized lens on top of that to help out, even better. The M6 Mark II, from my experience, has 
a decent amount better battery life than the M50 does. Let's take that Canon 4K camera in the M6. Let's take that Canon 1080p camera in the M50. Let's compare them. We're not gonna make things even here. We're gonna do 4K on the M6 and we're gonna do 1080p on the M50, but we're gonna use the same lens on each camera. So I'm not gonna be holding them side by side. I'm gonna have to shoot them one at a time. And you guys let me know, you guys let me know if you could tell a difference. All right, roll that footage. Money line, I'm a For those who surround you need no funny kind You can't see what's on my brain I live inside my mind Alright, so here's camera A in the studio We have controlled lighting We're gonna keep the settings exactly the same For camera A and camera B So take a second, soak it in now let's switch over to camera B. All right, now here is camera B. It does seem like there's a little bit of a color difference. One seems a little bit more natural than the other. And don't forget, all this is upscaled to 4K, even though we're shooting in 1080p on one of these cameras. So if you have the option, view this video in 4K. But what do you guys think? I think there's a little bit of a difference, but I don't think it's much, especially if you run it through YouTube's compression. I don't know how noticeable it's gonna be. I know somebody's gonna get it wrong. So down below, come on, be honest. Camera A, camera B. And after I tell you, don't go edit in your damn comment. I'm gonna look for that little thing that says edit. So if you miss, misspelled something, just keep it misspelled because then I'm gonna think that you cheated. All right, so camera A was the M6 Mark II. Canon B was the Canon M50. This lens makes a world of difference for this camera. I'll tell you that right damn now. The digital IS is good. The colors look pretty good. I think the colors on the M6 look just a little bit better. Seems like there's a little bit more life in the skin, a little bit better contrast. By the way, if when I was doing the walking vlogging test, I don't know if I threw you off, but on the M50, I was actually looking up as if it was a flip up screen. And on the M6 Mark II, I kept going to the right as if there was a flip out screen to maybe throw you guys off. I know some of you guys are smart and you watch stuff like that, so I have to mess with you a little bit. Can't give no easy W's around here. Anyway, post down below, let me know what you thought. Were you right, were you wrong? Do you own one or both of these cameras? If you like this video, please throw it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, please do so. I'd appreciate it highly. All right, my people, as usual, enjoy your day, your night, and tomorrow morning, salute. Everything. I want everything, that's on everything, it's like a weather for